lecture, we'll do some practice problems, and then have some work time. So this is standard form. We have our function, so we have y is a times x squared plus b times x plus c. So this, if you see something like this, this is called standard form. And we can still graph our quadratic. It's a little bit harder, uh, but we can still do it, OK? So we have two steps. So the first thing is we need to find the vertex. And then we need to find two points symmetrical around that vertex. So we just need three points to graph a, a quadratic function. <laughs> so to find the vertex for step one, our vertex is x comma y. This x point in our vertex, we use this formula. We use negative b over 2 times a. Have you heard this before? Have you seen that formula before? Maybe. So if it's new, that's OK. This is something that I would write on my paper when I'm doing my assignment. So x is negative b over 2a. So we get b from the second term with the x. We get a from the x squared term. Okay. And that is our function, or the, oh, this, I don't know why this keeps turning off on me. Okay, so then the next thing that we need to do is we take x, so we found x, this will be a number. And then we plug it back in and find y, just like we did yesterday. When we had our uh, axis of symmetry, we plugged in that number and we found x, or we found y with our x. <coughs> so the next thing that we need to do, oops, after we have our x, we need to find two values. So what I like to do, I'll show you on our assignment, I like to pick a value that's one above or one below our vertex point and plug that back in our function and find that point. And then you can just use the axis of symmetry. If you find a, find a point over here, it's going to be the same distance from the axis of symmetry on the other side. So let's go ahead and we will look at an, our assignment. So this is a little bit longer assignment. There's just 12 problems. Start on number one. This one is standard form. Okay, so we have something like this. We have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So if it helps you, you can write out what a and b and c are. So let's do that for this problem. What is a in this problem, in number one? What's the number in front of x? One. Good. If there's no number, then it's a one. So I'm going to make it look one. So a is one. What's b? Also one, good. And what is C? <coughs> good, negative 20. So if it has a sign, we need to take the sign. So we need to take that negative sign. All right, so our vertex, we need to find the vertex. The vertex is going to be negative B over 2 times A. And then we have to find Y. So first, let's find the x. What is negative? So we've got negative b, so negative 1 
over 2 times 1. What is that? Well, that's just going to be, so we've got negative 1 on top and 2 on the bottom, that's going to be negative half. So our vertex is negative half, comma, and we have to find y. So to find y, we have to say, what is y when x is half? So I'm going to take x and plug it in to all these x's. So this is f of x. I can just write y. Y is the same as f of x. So y is, so I have negative half squared plus negative half minus 20. Oh, a little bit messy. I'm going to grab a paper. A little bit. Okay, so y is, let's keep simplifying to find y. So negative half squared. So half times half. So we just multiply across the bottom. So it'd be like this times negative half. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 on the bottom. Negative times negative is a positive. So we have 1 fourth in the front. And then we have minus a half minus 20. So then, let's see. So we would have, we're going to have to do, so a quarter is half of a half. So we will have negative a quarter here when we combine these two, minus 20. So we'll end up with negative 20 and a quarter. So that's why. So when x is negative half, y is negative 20 and a quarter. Okay, so we found our vertex. So this doesn't fit very well. But I'm going to remember this. So this is half. This is going to be, let's see. Let's do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That won't fit either. Let's do this. This is going to be 5, negative 5, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20, negative 25, negative 30. So if my vertex is, this would be my vertex would be neg negative a half and then down 20 and a little bit. So about there. I have to draw for my number. So here's my vertex. And the next thing I need to do is find a point to the right and to the left. So I usually like to put a point in that's one over from my vertex. So if we're at half, let's do, let's just put one in. Let's see when we get, when we plug in one, what will we get out? So basically I'm just picking another order pair. So if I put in one, what will y be? So my function will be, let's see, so we have y is one squared plus one minus 20. So we've got y is 1 squared is 1 plus 1 minus 20. That gives us negative 18. So when we plug in 1, we'll get out negative 18. So then what we can do, instead of picking another point, we can just find, so we have our axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry goes through our vertex. We can just reflect this point across. So this is one and a half away from this point. So we can just go half and then one. So this point should be over here. Now we have three points. Now we can draw our parabola. Okay, questions on this first one that we just did?
So if you need to renumber your axis, that's fine. So that it fits. Okay, other other questions? No questions? Okay, let's do another one. Do you guys want to take the next one you do? Look through there. find the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is negative b over 2 times a. So here, what will we have? We'll have negative, negative what? This 12 has 20 as b, right? We've got a, b, c. So negative 20 over 2 times a is 1. So negative 20 divided by 2, that's negative 10. So that's our x-coordinate of our vertex. Now we need the y-coordinate. So all we have to do is we have to take x, plug it back in. So we have... Let me skip down. So we have y it is, instead of writing x squared, I'm going to write negative 10 squared plus 20 times negative 10 plus 36. So this is, looks like it's going to be a big number. Let's see. So we have y is, what's 10 times 10? 100. Good. Plus 20 times negative 10. That's going to be negative 200 plus 36. So 100 minus 200, that's negative 100. And then plus 36, it's going to be negative 64. So when y, x is negative 10, y is going to be negative 64. <coughs> this also won't fit on this graph. That's annoying. Usually these, if they give you a graph, it'll fit. This one doesn't look like that. So we will see. You might have to change all of the graphs. So let's see. Let's do these by 10. So let's say this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This is going to be negative 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And negative 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So when x is negative 10, y is negative 64. That's our vertex. Okay, so then let's pick a point to the right. Let's put in 0. That will work out nice. So if we pick x at the bottom, if I put this in this. Our next point, if x is 0, then we have 0 squared, so we're looking for y. y is 0 squared plus 20 times 0 plus 36. So when x is 0, y is 36. So 0, oh, up 36. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So our next point is 0, 36. So remember we have our axis of symmetry. So this is symmetrical about our axis. So if there's a point here and we go over 10, then we should go over 10 and that will, our, our parabola folds in half around the axis of symmetry. There is our third point. We can graph in our parabola. This one's really narrow. Okay, hey, questions on that? Yep. So, so where did you get zero? I just so this we just have to take one other point 
Next and question. I usually just do like one away from it. Okay. Yep. So I just pick zero. If you can pick zero, zero is a good number to pick because it's easy. It's easier to do the math if you plug in zero. Um, you can't pick zero if zero is the axis of symmetry because you already have your vertex on the axis of symmetry. Okay, other questions? Do you guys want to do one more? Or are you guys ready to try? One more? Okay, do you want to pick us one? Nine? Yep. Hey, so what are we going to start with? What's our first step? So we need to find the vertex. That's our first step, is to find the vertex. We are going to use negative b over 2 times a to find the x of our vertex, and then we'll plug it in and we'll find y. So this is our x and our y. So what is our vertex here? We have negative what? Negative negative 11 over 2 times 1. So negative negative 11 is 11 divided by 2. This one's not a very fun one. We'll probably plug this into our calculator. So 11 over 2. All right, so then we've got our x of our vertex. So our vertex is 11 halves. And then we're going to plug 11 halves in here. So y, I should probably move that up a little bit. y is 11 halves squared minus 11 times x, 11 halves, plus 18. So instead of writing x, I'm writing 11 halves. That's my x, the x part of my vertex. Okay, question so far. Can you guys see where, what we're doing? Okay, all right, now this is gonna be a little bit less fun because we have these fractions. So 11 squared is 121, two squared is four. Subtract by 121 over two plus 18. So that's not very fun. Um, I'm gonna put this in my calculator. <laughs> You're okay to do that too. If you want to use your calculator, because the point is not, we're not trying to work with fractions. We're trying to make sure we can graph a parabola. So I've got 121 divided by 4. 3.25. You got it already? I just think. You think it's 3.25? Okay, 121 oh, no. divided by 2 plus 18. Wait. Okay, so close. And what's 11 divided by 2? 5.5. So we've got negative 12 and a quarter. And this is 5.5. So this one also won't fit on the graph. But we'll, we'll, I'm just going to make some extra lines. So we go neg or we go 5.5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.5. That's our axis of symmetry. And then we go down to negative 12, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is negative 12. So my vertex is going to be down here. Oops. So I just made my graph longer. Okay, then we can pick a number on the right and the left. So this one we can pick. Let's see. We can pick 0. Let's do 0. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to pick zero and see where does the parabola, so my, I know my parabola fits down here, and I know it's going to come up. I just don't know where it's going to cross the y-axis. So let's go ahead and put in zero, because zero makes the math easy. So I'm thinking x is zero. What will y be? So I'm going to put in, instead of x, I'm writing zero. Zero squared minus 11 times zero plus 18. So 0 squared is 0. 11 times 0 is 0. And then I have 18. So 
So when x is 0, y is 18. So this is just point 0.1 on my parabola. So 0, 18. So up, way up here, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So lots way up here. This looks kind of funny. So we have a problem way down here. We have 18, a point way up here. And this one, we will go, so it's symmetrical. So this one is five and a half away from the x-axis. So I would measure one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight away. Not eight, five and a half. One, two, three, four, we'll call that five away. Five and a half away. So basically, I, if I fold my parabola across the axis of symmetry, that point should line up. Does that make sense? Then this parabola will be something like this. Okay, questions on that? I'm a little bit upset on this assignment. The graphs don't fit our numbers, so that's frustrating. So I will work on that. But do your best on that. Make sure you have the correct vertex. I will pay especially close attention to make sure you have the correct vertex. Okay. All right, questions. Do you guys think that you can try the rest of those? So I will work on a key, but another way to check is if you plug this into the Desmos graphing calculator. Desmos has a graphing calculator. If you type this in and ask it to graph, it'll graph it for you. So you can. I, what I would do is I would check, I would do the problem, do your best, and then you can reference the best and just check. But I will also work on that on a key for this. Questions before I let you have some work time. Okay, again, make sure you have the correct vertex written somewhere. Make sure I can find that. That's what I'm going to look for. Okay. We have, where are we? We have about 40 minutes left, so you should have enough time to finish. You've got um, nine more problems. 